In problem number 14, we're told that the Richter scale is a base 10 logarithmic scale used to measure the magnitudes of earthquakes. That is, an earthquake measuring 7 is 10 times as strong as an earthquake measuring 6. So this is a base 10 logarithmic scale. And the way that we might write that is that log of some number is equal to 7. Remember, log LOG is base 10. LN would be base E, or the natural log. So we're working with base 10 here. And we, we have this basic idea that the log of some number um, is equal to 7. So this number, this magnitude of the force uh, or the power of an earthquake is a huge number. Um, but we're, we use logarithms to scale them down to manageable numbers. And what this really means when we're working with base 10, remember that a logarithm is really an exponent. And it's the exponent that raises a particular base to equal a number. So in this case, it would be, we would see the relationship that x sub 1 is 10 to the 7th power. So the logarithm is the exponent that's 7, that raises the base, which is 10, to equal this number x sub 1. So 10 to the 7th is equal to x sub 1. And the second number we have, the logarithm of some other number is equal to 6. So the Richter scale would, would show 6, but actually this number is really, the, the power of the earthquake, or the x sub 2, is really 10 to the 6th power. So that if we were to measure 10 to the 7th divided by, we wanted to compare the strength of these two earthquakes, 10 to the 7th divided by 10 to the 6th would give you 10. And that's what it means that the, that an earthquake measuring 7 is 10 times as strong as an earthquake measuring 6, even though 7 is just one more than 6, or um, <clears throat> just a slight percentage higher than 6. So what we want to find out is then an earthquake that measures 6.8. So if we set up the logarithm for that, we set up another logarithm for an earthquake measuring 6.6. .6. So once again, we would do x sub 1 is equal to 10 to the 6.8, whereas x sub 2 is equal to 10 to the 6.6. .6. And on our calculators, when we divide those two numbers, we're going to get roughly 1.58. Which means that an earthquake measuring 6.8 on the Richter scale is 1.58 times as great as a, an earthquake measuring 6.6 .6 on the uh, Richter scale. And if we wanted to find this in terms of percent, obviously we would multiply that by 100. And that would give us roughly 158%, or C being the answer. So this problem involves a lot about how we work with exponential equations, logarithmic equations, how we use exponential, exponential equations to solve logarithmic, and how we use logarithmic equations to solve exponential equations. So there's a lot implied in here. And uh, I can't go over all of the details in this brief video. But this is the basic idea here. A logarithm is an exponent. And we can convert back and forth between logarithms and exponents. And sometimes that will help us to solve a particular equation. All right? So I'm going to leave this particular problem at that. And uh, we'll go on to the next one.